Hey guys, it's me, and today we're painting plaster figures. Since it's summer now, I thought it was appropriate to do some summer-themed craft for you, and it just so happened that I found a summer-themed plaster figure set. All of these are desserts that you would have in the summer, but the fun thing about these plaster figures are that they're magnets. I have not done magnets in quite a while. Last time I did them, they were little succulents, and I remember those being super fun, and I actually keep them on my fridge to this day because they are one of my favorite things that I've done on this channel. So when I saw that these were magnets, I knew that I had to get them. So I'm very excited for it. I think they're gonna turn out so cute. So let's jump right in. And we're back. As you can see from the painting footage, I completely changed the look of these over the course of the project. I started this with a completely different vision. Things didn't turn out the way I was hoping for and I decided that I had to change them. 
The changes I made were very drastic. I usually don't change things up that much when I'm filming. But when I started painting these, I just was not satisfied, which you don't hear me say a lot about my projects. Honestly, I think that change made this project so much better. So let's talk about these a little bit. As usual, I'm going to be ranking them. Coming in fourth place for me is the candy. It started out with purple and gold. I thought a metallic gold would look more like a candy wrapper. But as you can see, that didn't work out. I even tried color correcting the purple to be a lighter purple, which coincidentally I used as the background color for the magnet set. So I went with one of my favorite color combinations, which is yellow and aquamarine. And I used yellow because I wasn't sure how the metallic was going to cover up. But this has to rank lower because I have been using this color combination a lot recently. Or at least it feels that way to me. But it's cute and it gives me summer candy vibes. And that's what I was going for. Coming up in third place is the Popsicle. This one is super adorable. It's got a cute concept. I love how they both have facial expressions and the one that looks concerned has a bite taken out of it. Again, a very dramatic transformation. This used to be green. But then the yellow popsicle stick didn't quite make me happy. So we went with hot pink. <laughs> I did change the color of the popsicle sticks off camera <laughs> because I used an orangey kind of tan color and that didn't go with the pink. So I used a color that I had mixed for another project and I think the pinky tan color goes more with the pink. This one's cute. I love the idea of it. I think it's got a lot of personality. So coming up in second place is the cupcake. This is my lime cupcake. This one was kind of the wild card. I didn't think this green was actually going to be what I wanted it to be. This is the same green I was using on the popsicle sticks. I was going to use a tan color, but I ended up using a pinky tan color that is a few shades lighter than the popsicle sticks on the popsicle. I wish it had a little bit more pizzazz, but it's very cute. And the one that wins it all took me by surprise. This one was the underdog from the beginning. I didn't think it was going to be my favorite, but it's the ice cream. It was originally going to be vanilla ice cream with a tan bottom and no pizzazz and I said absolutely not we're gonna make this strawberry and it's got sprinkles on it I wish there were more colors on the sprinkles but I think I did good by avoiding red and orange I think this one just turned out so great I used a dark chocolate cone to give that pink a pop and the purple just really made it stand out too I just love it so it has to be the winner so overall, this project is one of the most fun and eventful ones that I've had in a long time. I think I did justice to my summer theme that I was going for. I actually went in off camera at the very end and added some white dots in their eyes because I thought the black looked too creepy. But I think I saved it a little bit for me by adding those white dots. It gives it a little bit more personality and less demon eye. And I think it turned out really great. I absolutely love this set. So if you're looking for something to do for the summer, I highly recommend this. I love doing plaster figures. And I think adding magnets to that just makes it so much better. It's easier to display, I will say that. So if you're interested, you should give it a try. So I hope you enjoyed. Happy summer. And I'll see you next week.